That shit is awesome. I mean, it's fucked up, but. Fuck! Okay, we need hold the fuck. Okay, hold on. What the fuck? Hold up. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Excuse me. All right, I just I gotta leave. Okay. Oh. All right, guys and gentlemen, welcome back to Rage Glory. Oh my God! All right, boys and girls. So we've got a very juicy episode indeed today. Obviously, we're going to be jumping into a cheeky little Shevchenko review. I'm so stoked, my dudes. Now, about a week ago, I think I already told you this, but I'll, I'll tell you again anyway. We were playing weekend league. It wasn't going great, and I was a little bit bored with my team, and I was I was tempted to sell it. But I reassured myself and thought that selling my team in weekend league is just not a good idea. I got to finish the weekend league and then sell the team. So, in you know, to stop me from selling the team and just being completely bored with FIFA, we picked up Shevchenko to finish out the weekend league and just have a bit of fun, basically. And as a result, we ended up finishing the highest ever that we had done in this FIFA. We ended up with 17 wins from 23 games. So we only lost six games that weekend league, and obviously got gold too. And I was just really happy with that. And a lot of that was to do with Shevchenko. He was absolutely brilliant in that weekend league. He displayed everything: finishing, dribbling, pace, just the whole lot. And I had a lot of fun with this card. However, after this review, lads, I'm probably going to be selling him because I want to make some changes to my team. I'm going to need all the coins I'm going to get. This is fucked. This is not right. This is not cool. You guys did see some of those changes that we were going to be making. Obviously, you saw Mane and Oxley Chamberlain and stuff. And yeah, we we made we made some significant changes that you guys have already seen. However, the team that I've gone into weekend league with at the minute is going to be drastically different purely because these road to the final upgrades were so good. I mean, look at that Canate card. I have to use that. And Babu, I, I have to use that. I have to use these cards. It'd be a waste not to use them. So our team is going to be changing a lot, lads. So no one is safe right now. No one except really Butra is safe. You know, Varan could go. So Campbell could go. The wrong could go, the whole lot could go. Oh, fuck! So, yeah, before we sell everyone, lads, let's give Shevchenko a cheeky little send off because of that weekend leak he displayed because he was that good, you know? Yeah, he deserves it. He's so good, lads. And obviously, there's a good chance he might get an icon swap. So, this, this review is going to be very useful to when that happens or if that happens, I should say. But yeah, it's a fantastic card, lads, with really good stats. It's really cheap now. I bought him for about 580. I've lost a lot of money on him. He's like 460k now, which is an insanely good price for an icon strike. I mean, look at that. 404 of that. I mean, it hurts. It hurts that I've lost this much money. Oh my God, these the stop. But it is really good for you guys that want to try these different icons out. It's great that these prices are coming down. It hurts me because I'm losing so much money, but it's obviously good overall, I guess. But anyway, let's dive into some of these in-games then, lads. You've got four-star week for only three-star skills. So if you guys do your skill moves, you're going to be a little bit disappointed with that one. Why does this, why? Why, why, why does just, why? How is it possible? He has high, high work rates, which admittedly, I didn't really notice. I didn't see him dropping back very much, but you know, it's something to bear in mind, I guess. He has really good pace, lads. It doesn't feel amazing, I have to admit. Like, he's only got two less pace than Butra, and I have to say, Butra feels a lot faster. I think it's because obviously Butra is like five foot six, he's very small, and, and Shevchenko is quite a big guy. He does feel considerably slower than Butra, but still feels fast. He doesn't feel slow. The shooting stats are incredible, lads, and realistically, the reason you want to pick up a card like this 91 finishing, 88 long shots, 89 attacking positioning, just really well rounded shooting stats lads and I can vouch for them they're really good he doesn't he doesn't miss too often his dribbling stats are pretty decent lads not the craziest agility it's probably one of the reasons he doesn't feel as fast as someone like Butra not the craziest balance but really nice in game dribbling great ball control and fantastic composure little voice crack there I'm gonna try and pretend that it didn't happen <laughs> Sorry. Physically a little bit underwhelming, lads. I mean, you look at a guy like Shevchenko and you take him for a guy that has really good strength. Like, you just look at him on the pitch and assume he's going to be really strong. But obviously, 73, it's not bad. That's not bad strength. The stamina is not good. I hate low stamina. I, I've been buying a lot of cars lately with shit stamina. Like, this is not a good enough, man. you got to have more stamina than that. But overall, a really good card, lads, for a really good price as well. If you want to try this card out, I would recommend him. He is really good and just a lot of fun. Like, he's a very fun card. So anyway, lads, I'm not going to waste any of your time. I'm just going to jump straight into a little bit of gameplay with Shevchenko. Yeah, fingers crossed some wins and stuff. And yeah, just good performance overall would be great. So let's jump into game number one. Varane, Malqui. Oh, what are you doing, Malqui? What are you doing, lad? I spent like 100k on you and you're just going to give random penalties? All right, go on, Rufio. Yeah, give him a little wiggle. Yeah, that's it. Straight down the middle. Yeah, fucking red, you bitch. I think you need to calm down. Oh, come on. 
For, for Ran, you've got... Oh, what a save from Rufy. You've got to be stronger with these tackles, man. Spend like 300 fucking K on yours. What are these tackles? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, Varan. Just... Why? 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 That's all I've got to say, really. Just why? Oh, please. That's up to... Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. We've got to. Finish. Far post. Oh, my God. Like, what is wrong with me right now? I'm playing so bad. That is one big pile of shit. Please play. Oh my god, Shevchenko, that is a phenomenal pass. Sadio Mane repay the debts of that pass with a great goal. Come on, what a pass from Shevchenko. That was absolutely phenomenal. Mane with the pace, of course, and a great finish as well. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. Oh, Kabu just making a run. What a pass from Oxlade Chamberlain. We should score this because we've got Veron in support, and I don't know what I've done, Shevchenko. Thank God for Shevchi. That was. Oh, I made a right fuck up of that. Jesus Christ, if, Shevchen if Shevchenko wasn't there. Damn, boy! Oh, sold. Like, no, all right, can we, just, can we just talk about this? The fact that my goalkeeper was fucking molested by his striker just now. Why was that allowed to happen? Oh, what pass? Play Shevchi. What a pass, Shevchi! Goalkeepers need to stop, man. Like, that's just not okay. Kabams. Oxy Chamberlain for the winner! I love that kid. I freaking love him. He is just the greatest centre mid, other than Veron, to ever grace this freaking game. Wow. Well, overall, boys and girls, a fantastic performance from Shevchenko. Obviously scoring a fairly simple enough chance, but he had to be there to score it, hence the very high attacking positioning. He was in a great position to score and did so. His assist, however, was much more impressive. That ball over the top to Sadio Mane was just amazing. He doesn't have the craziest passing stats, lads, but I've noticed nothing but good passing from him. Yeah, his passing feels completely fine, lads, so I, I don't know about that one. You know, it might be different for some of you guys that try him. For me, his passing is fantastic. And yeah, just overall a great performance, lads. Just very, very, very decent indeed. So yeah, let's just jump straight into game number two. Nice from him. Just hold it up. Wait for the Malky run. Look at that. Absolutely precise pass from Ox. Go back post to Shevchenko. Oh, for Ron. <laughs> what a strike from the lad. I wasn't even... I don't even know how I scored. I think that might have been an auto shot. I might be wrong, but... Oh, I'm sorry. I thought this was the bathroom. Oh, good lord. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? Yes, come on, Shivchi. Just, just hold it up. Just, just do your part. Look at that. And then play Mane. Please, thank you, Oxy Chamberlain. Great play from Shevchenko to just hold it up, allow the attackers to get forward. He played a great pass to Mane. A little bit. Only a little bit. A little bit of luck to somehow get it to Ox for the open goal finish. It's filth. It's pure, unadulterated filth. Got a one-two. Love it. I love it. Great link up play. Got to be. I'm getting a bit of AIDS here. If I score this, Shevchi, it's even more AIDS. It's even more AIDS. Like, Shevchi scored two pretty fucking AIDS goals right now. Oh, shit. Oh, Malky, please, lad. Oh, God. Oh, no. What the frick, dude? One opening and he's straight back in it. Um, what the fuck? Just holding it up, just steady. And then on the right <laughs> foot, it's a beauty. It's a freaking beauty. We're getting at the AIDS goals with Shevchenko, but that that is something he is definitely capable with. It's the long shot. Phenomenal strike from outside the box from Shevchi. That is the, maybe one of the worst throws I've ever seen. Can we punish him? Good build up. Wait, oh Oxy. Oxy, can he finish? I What? Oh, come on, Malquay. So just somebody fucking do something. Why is Frick! Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? I swear, if I can see it. Like what the fuck, lads? I swear to god, like I Like I've seriously I've defended pretty well this game, but the three times I've been shit, he's freaking scored them. Here we go. This is it. Shevchi, round two. Yes! Shevchi! This is getting weird, bro. I don't know if I want to continue doing this, bro. Nice. Oh, 
man, that is absolutely grim. Come on, finish this game. Oh, it's fallen to Shevchenko. I don't even know how, and he's, of course he's going to finish it. It's Shevchenko. He barely misses, and he's just going to bump that into the top corner. Big up Shevchenko. Four goals for him. He has been electric in this game. Absolutely deadly in front of goal. No more. No more. There we go. Yes, boys. Great win. Fantastic victory. <laughs> But overall, boys and girls, what a performance from Shevchenko. That that was just that was brilliant. It was it was absolutely brilliant. In terms of icon strikers, lads, it doesn't get too much better than Andrei Shevchenko. He's not the craziest dribbler in the world. He's not got the craziest pace, but he's got good enough pace. He's got good enough dribbling. But what you're getting in absolute abundance, lads, is just incredible finishing ability. He finishes from inside the box and outside of the box. He's, he's got amazing shooting stats. If that's the kind of striker that interests you, lads, Shevchenko 100% is that kind of guy. He just, he just buries everything. Of course, he does miss from time to time. Every striker does, but Seriously, like he scores 90% of his chances, which is more than I can say for most strikers in this game. Most strikers score 50% of their chances if they're lucky. But yeah, his dribbling is good, but nothing crazy. His pace is good, but nothing crazy. His strength is okay, but nothing crazy. His stamina is pretty poor. So there's a lot of stats you're look. You right? Do you mind? I'm just, I'm just finish my video. No. You get the hell out! But yeah, like I was saying, he just has incredible shooting. He's he has a knack for being in the right place at the right time, and he's just great. Like he's just a great all-round striker that has a little bit of everything. But anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy this episode of the Rage of Glory. If you did, smash the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.